Wasteland. And yes, welcome back to another Gaslands UK Car of the Month competition for April 2020. That's right, this month's competition, the Weird and Wonderful Contraptions competition, has been brought to us by our sponsor, Dashlands. Dashlands, which provides wonderful card accessories for your games of Gaslands, including sponsor-specific cards for when you're building your teams. So the theme for this month was the strange and unusual. So it could be weapons or different methods of locomotion, besides the usual wheels and gasoline. You know, we wanted to see something really strange and out there, something nuclear, something atomic. So what does a death ray really look like? You know, let's see some cars that fly. And what can I say, this month you guys did not let us down. So, as always, let's have a look at everyone who entered and everyone who finished. So, from the top, everyone who entered, we have Ben Birkin, Benedict Webb, Charlie Crump, Colin Harvard, James Dawes, Matt George, Monster Customs Diecast, Piers Francis Reardon, Rob Lawrence, Ryan Budd, Sam Graven, Stuart Godbolt, Tom Upson, and returning champion from January, and I think he's taken part in every competition so far, so credit to you, Tony, Tony Peacock. And, of course, let's look at everyone who finished. We have Benedict Webb, Charlie Crump, Colin Harvard, Matt George, Monster Customs Diecast, Piers Francis Reardon, Rob Lawrence, Sam Graven, Stuart Godbolt, Tom Upson, and Tony Peacock. So can we just talk for a minute about the quality of the builds that are entering these competitions now? This is absolutely, without a doubt, absurd. I mean, we're seeing really creative and new sort of attempt to do things. I mean, I absolutely love Matt George's entry, who was the first to get his in on April 18th. So, you know, he was like, I got this in the bag two weeks in. That's all I need. I don't need any more time to make the portal bot, which is a wonderful, cool car where the idea is it splits in half physically so that you can pose it as though it's going into a portal, this black shadowy void that it generates and is appearing somewhere else on the racetrack. If you've ever played Portal, you know what I'm on about. We've got a lot of people trying this out for the very first time. Tom Upson got his in with this absolutely stellar little nuclear job where his son gave him a... blue plastic thing with no wheels and said enter this one dad now that's what it's all about so naturally he had to turn this into a mishkin hover car with an enormous lithium cell on the back hardwired into the transformer i like that i love the smoke effects and hover cars can be a son of a gun to pull off so yeah for a first entry tom you did a fantastic job absolutely love it Another entering for the very first time, and also entering on the last possible day at the last possible minute. Of course, we have Monster Customs Diecast, another up-and-coming YouTube channel that you guys need to check out. With his entry, The Red Rocket, a wonderful Fallout 4-themed build with a diesel fusion-powered engine and a Tesla cannon. You know, this is the thing about Monster Custom Diecast. He puts out some brilliant cars and he turns them out at a rate which is just eye-watering. Like, I have no idea how this guy manages to do it. I mean, I can't put out cars this fast and I've been doing this for years. But every single day, it feels like there's a whole new team or a whole new build that he's brought out. And as you can see here, he only needs a few hours and he can get something amazing onto the tabletop. So well done, my friend. Go check out his channel. Then, of course, there is Benedict Webb's entry with the Megaton, racing for Idris and sporting twin machine guns and the latest Mr. Fusion experimental nuclear reactor. As he describes it, a hard fish to catch. Well, what can I say? I think you've done a damn good job there, Benedict. I absolutely love, 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 love that gigantic hazard sign on the front windscreen. I think that's inspired. And I love the little touches, like the little splats of blood. And considering how simple and plain that base car was, I think you've done a stellar job in detailing this up. 
Then, of course, there's returning favourites like Charlie Crumps. Man, look at the size of this amber mammoth, as he calls it. A mobile nuclear platform with a jock-off death ray. <laughs> it is an absolutely titanic build. Look at the size of this thing. I was worried. I was worried with a project this big that he wouldn't be able to pull it off or he wouldn't be able to do it justice with just the right application of Warhammer and other details and little printed off decals. I think Charlie has done a stellar job here. It is big, it is imposing, and I would not want to be on the wrong side of that amazing nuclear death ray. Look at the size of that thing. It looks like it burn a hole through buildings. But if you want the absolute king of last minute entries, oh boy, you need to check out Colin Harvard, who at first it seemed was going to do this ridiculously over the top mono wheel build. I mean, that mono wheel is twice, three times the size of your normal Hot Wheels toy car. But after some difficulties, it was like, no, scrap that. Let's throw this together at the last minute. So with like six hours left on the clock, as it's ticking down to midnight, we're all there giving him support on the UK Facebook page, cheering him on, and he finally enters it in. I think it's like 11 o'clock at night he gets this thing handed in, and it is a fantastic hover build. And considering he did it in such a short space of time, I love that it's got LEDs and little components from, like, Subulba's Star Wars pod racer. Like, it really does look rock solid. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, there's a video as well. So well done, Colin Harvard. Photo finish, as always. But if we're talking about photo finishes, we've got to talk about Stuart Godbolt's entry, because my goodness, that is a fantastic car. And again, right at the last minute. Like, I know you guys like to give me a heart attack, but you got to get these entries in early. No, don't worry about it. What can I say? This is a absolutely brilliant build. I love it. I love the merging of a Hot Wheels truck with that gigantic, ludicrous engine that takes up like three quarters of it. Like it's so big, it's spilling on top of and around the cab that the driver sits in. Like, you know, he's going to be growing an extra arm by the time the race is finished. <laughs> And again, more amazing work with LEDs. What is it with you guys and LEDs? You're really pushing the envelope. It's great. Of course, there is Sam Graven's entry with two cars this time round, both of which look absolutely fantastic. And I gotta say, like, I love when people can pull off a pink paint job because it is not easy. And he went all out because that is a lovely, crisp, bubblegum pink. Fantastic work, Sam. Why? What's that sound? I, I think it's the sound of Tony Peacock's entry. Yes, that's right. Tony Peacock decided that, you know, a double-decker bus, that wasn't good enough for his wasteland. He had to have a full-blown orchestra on wheels with this enormous, you know, church organ that belches smoke and flickers fire from its, its exhausts. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love the little extra features, like the little dog, you know, standing guard by the, by the door. Like, ah, oh, what a build, Tony. What an absolute fantastic build. And, and the people, the scale, like putting, like painting a half mask on that conductor, like that, that requires some skill right there. But if we're talking about skill, we have got to talk about Rob Lawrence's entry, which has inspired the introduction for this video, because I have never seen anyone attempt to motorize a, a flail like this. Like, he may call it the epic flail, but it is beyond epic. It is an awe-inspiring piece of work. And considering this thing hovers as well, there is no slowing this beast down when it starts going. So considering this was made from a Burger King toy, absolutely stunning work, Rob Lawrence. I will set this in stone now. This is the first, in 2020, this is the first time 
I think ever there has been a motorized flail on a Gaslands toy car. If I'm wrong, by all means, put it in the comments. But that prestigious award goes to you, Rob Lawrence, because I have never seen it done before. And I've been here quite a while. And finally, of course, we have Piers Francis Reardon's three-wheel steampunk post-apocalyptic caravan of the wasteland, ready to traverse the dried-up North Sea. It's an absolutely fantastic piece made from coffee stirrers, cardboard, just this, that and the other. And don't get me wrong, when he entered this competition, the plan from the start was to make this thing from the ground up. So wheels made from scratch, body, everything. If it wasn't it, like on a previous toy car, it wasn't going to go on. But he also did a buggy as a backup entry, just in case there was any issue. But considering the level of creativity and the wonderful rustic aesthetic that he's got going on here, I don't think any of the judges would have any issue looking at this wonderful entry. I love, I love the level of corrosion and the detail he's been able to get out of just cardboard. So well done, Piers. But it is time, Wasteland. It is time to announce the winners of this month's competition. Yes, because this month's sponsor, Dashlands, has decided that there will be three winners this month, first, second and third, and that they will each receive a sponsor dashboard pack of the sponsor of their choosing. So if you're a Mishkin fan or a Miyazaki player or a good old fashioned slime boy like myself, it's all up for grabs in this month's competition. So without any further ado, drum roll, please. So the winner of Gaslands UK's Car of the Month competition for April 2020 is Stuart Godbolt. <laughs> 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 yes, that's right, Stuart. Come on down. Let's see what you won. That's right, Stuart. With your entry, Violet, it's not hard to see why you won. I mean, this is an absolutely fantastic and imaginative build. I absolutely adore, as I've said, the LED work in all of our contestants. But in this case, you've really outshone them. I mean, you need only look at the fact that the flames, the, the energy coming out the back of that turbine is a different LED colour to what's glowing out of the front windscreen. I mean, the, the use of that webcam component so totally changes the look of this car. And this is the kind of Hot Wheels car, and this is the kind of build that we all have access to and we could all achieve ourselves which I think really helped this one stand out above some of the other entries, which were just absolutely killer. So I've got to say, without further ado, Stuart Godbolt, congratulations and welcome to the Gaslands UK Hall of Fame. Because always remember, at the end of this year, we will be highlighting the 12 winners from 2020. But that's not all, because as I said, there is a second and third place to this competition. So for Gaslands UK Car of the Month 2020 April, second place we have Tony Peacock with The Phantom. I mean, you guys could see this coming. It is so cool and it's so amazingly well done. Like you see the journey that Tony takes putting it together. And I oh, oh, the whole the whole time I didn't know what he was going to come out with. Like there's no way you could predict that it was going to be a Phantom of the Opera themed piece. So congratulations, Tony. Enjoy those dashboards. And of course, as I've said, there is a third place. And in third place, I, I think you guys can see this. The writing's on the wall. Do I need to spell it out? It's Rob Lawrence with the epic flail. I mean, come on. Come on. Do I really need to explain this? Just look at it. It's fantastic, but I've sung its praises enough. So congratulations to Stuart Godbolt, Tony Peacock, and Rob Lawrence. You are all fantastic builders, and I cannot wait to see what you come up with for May's challenge. Because as we know, when one competition ends, when one month ticks over, 
another one starts. So get ready for the fifth Car of the Month competition wasteland, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.